Seven centuries later, the heritage of the squires lives on. At the famous Grand Vefour restaurant in Paris, a modern-day master chef, Guy Martin, confirms his boundless admiration of Squire Chicard, another major chef of the Middle Ages. Like Martin, Chicard was also from the Savoy region and was in the service of Prince Amade VIII. Squire Chicard's legacy is reflected by the menu of this coveted Parisian restaurant. We can find Rosiole of Pig, prepared in the tradition of the great squire. For the recipe you need spare ribs, cinnamon, figs, prunes, dates, ginger and pine cone seeds. The restaurant has been awarded three stars, but Guy Martin remains modest. Reverent to his past master, squire to the Prince of Savoy in the early 15th century. The innovative genius of Squire Chicard was in the dosage. You have a recipe and you have an economy of ingredients. The technical term, 30 grams of this, 50 grams of that. But beyond dosing, he became a reference in his time. His principles allow anyone to follow a recipe at home. He also believed in divine inspiration. To attain beauty, a cook uses only pick-of-the-crop ingredients to achieve perfection. His cookbook was a sensation. Maître Chicard inspired me with his notion of divine inspiration, of forging beauty out of food. He remains a reference for dedicated cooks. His legacy brings out the best in us. We can explore and experiment with recipes and ingredients. We can put philosophy into preparation. Guy Martin, master chef, maintains that Squire Chicard, author of a cookbook dating from 1420, had understood the secret of haute cuisine. This rosiole of pig reveals his genius, and it's very modern. He used fresh regional produce, like insisting on chicken from Bress. And here we are using pork. He devised rapid delivery services. He surprises our palate with a subtle use of spices. His preparation is flawless, inspirational. His creativity is total, an association of ingredients used to making his recipe so special, yet totally modern. To ensure that his roseole of pig would be fit for a prince, Guy Martin decorates it with gold leaf, just like Squire Chicard did. Gold was believed to make women beautiful, and it induced longevity. It was the produce of the Philosopher's Stone. In the Middle Ages, precious stones were used like ingredients to a recipe. In this recipe, dating from 1420, we dabble with the source of culinary alchemy.